I want to compare their economic agendas in a moment. But before that, yeah. Vice President Harris did say that her goal is to strengthen the middle class. Based on what you've seen her say, and I know, as you said, it's only been a month, so she hasn't had much time to craft this, but she has been in the Biden administration for three and a half years. So with that experience paired with the things that she said, do you see this being, you know, the right way or a way, a solution to strengthen the middle class and create what she has called an opportunity economy? All right. So let, let's go back to my framework and say, what are we trying to do? Economic goals? or social goals, right? So you'd strengthen the middle class if you really thought there were some pretty significant market failures that were hurting the middle class. Hard for me to see that with the exception really of climate change. And that affects all of us. So you know, to the extent that they have a concern about addressing that efficiently, with some side of carbon tax is really what we tend to think about in economics. That would be a good thing for her to do. I haven't heard too much about that. The administration certainly talked about climate and moving ahead, uh, obviously, for, with a more green economy. Those are good things, but again, we got to be careful and we got to do them in an efficient way. You know, if you just want to dole out more money to the middle class by cutting things left and right, you got to pay for that. And you know, you've got to think through, okay, yeah, we can start writing new checks, but we're gonna to have to pay for these things. And you know, I've not heard sort of a cogent explanation of really how this is gonna be financed. And so that's you know my concern at this point. Um, you know, regardless of whether her policies, whether there be you know, subsidies for housing or reductions in taxes do lead to people having more money in their pockets. There's the question down the road, how are you going to finance this? I mean, that's a big question and a less fun, less glamorous question that politicians want to answer when, you know, they have a proposal. Well, how or who is going to pay for it? Based on what we've seen from Trump, based on what you've heard from Kamala Harris, is there any indication of how these are going to get implemented or who's paying? Well, again, Trump has already implemented a lot of what he wants to do with before, right? We've seen what he wanted to do or and what he didn't want to do, right? He had no interest in pursuing any efforts to combat climate change, right? He did have an interest in putting in tariffs that economists have estimated were very costly uh, for consumers, right? So if he continues with that, you can you can count on that to be harmful. Um, you saw that his use of antitrust policy was more of a personal matter. That is, he really wasn't all that concerned with any anti-competitive issues as much as he was concerned with whether these companies were not supportive of him. And there's going to be payback if they weren't uh, in, 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 in certain things. So that's sort of a flavor of where he was at. I think in the case of Kamala Harris, again, it's premature I'd like to see, you know, a more thorough discussion of how these things are going to be done. I, I mean, a big problem, even let's let's go back to price gouging. You know, the, the obvious problem with, with something like that, and again, this gets back to the efficiency of how you're implementing these things, is ideally you really want this thing means tested, right? There's no reason for someone like me to really be protected against supermarkets raising prices. I have no idea what prices are. <laughs> you know, when the supermarkets see me coming, they could double their prices and I wouldn't know the difference. I mean, simply because of ignorance, but frankly, it's not gonna be costing me all that much. So ideally, we really would wanna target this toward less affluent people, not let everybody in on it, right? That's wasteful, right? So that's, that, those are the kinds of things that I would raise you know, even if she, she comes forward with a specific policy about price gouging, is it's too broad. It needs to be means tested, as do a lot of these things, to make sure in the process of helping the middle class that you're really not subsidizing a lot of, you know, affluent people too.